All right, hello everybody. I hope that you're having a wonderful day whenever it is that you're watching this. Welcome to this week's video. Um, today we are going to talk about this concept of chasing habits versus chasing the feelings that maybe it is that we're looking for in order to build performance. What do I mean by this? So a lot of times what happens is clients will come to me and say they want to build more confidence or they want to feel stronger or they want to feel more passionate or they want to feel something, right? And so what usually my first question along those lines is, okay, you want to feel, right? If we use confidence as an example, you want to feel more confident. Well, what is it that you're doing to cultivate that confidence? So if we use, say, the bike for an example, and someone says, I want to feel more confident on the bike. And we say, so my question to them when I'm asking, like I'm working one-on-one -on -one with them would be, okay, awesome. I love that. We can totally work with that. I have a couple questions. What would, what habits are you you doing to cultivate confidence on the bike? What does your day look like? What does your biking look like? What does your training look like? What is, you know, let me hear a little bit about what biking looks like for you. And most often, you know, what they say is, well, you know, I try to bike three to four times a week. Um, I, but you know, sometimes I'm just, I'm really tired or, the bike isn't going well and so I just give up or I don't like the workout and so I don't do it or I switch it and I maybe I half ass it or I just I don't stay focused and so I I well maybe I get three sessions in I change them and I just spin instead of do the intervals you know whatever it is and I usually say okay that's great is that helping you feel more confident every time their answer is no why? Because what they are doing is they're chasing a feeling versus the habits that actually create the feeling. So when we're trying to create performance, optimal performance in something, we, there's this little feedback loop that we kind of think about. I'm going to show you a little drawing here. So we have feelings, which leads to performance. So if you look at this from here, we have our feelings, which leads to performance. A lot of times what happens is people say they want to chase the feeling. They're looking for a feeling that they're chasing. Okay. Chase the feeling. They're missing one step. Step that you're missing are the habits or routines. This is your little feedback loop. You have to first instill habits or routines, and then that will then produce the feelings that you need in order to create performance. And you may be saying, well, Kayla, that doesn't sound like mental performance. Mental performance is really, really geared all around what habits we place on a daily basis. You cannot change your mind until you change your habits. And those habits then are what produce the feelings that we're wanting or the emotions that we're looking to perform. And then that then produces, helps us produce actions and responses. It all feedbacks loops. So you could even add in a little offshoot to this that says, okay, these habits and routines um, create these feelings and then these feelings, right, they influence our actions more, which then influence is our performance. You can add an offshoot if you want, like that. And then we say, all right, the habits that we're focusing on help create the feelings that we're trying to instill in our life which then helps us to continue with the actions, which then provides the performance that we're looking for and or result, whichever you wanna think about it from. So what does this mean for us? What it means is that first we have to acknowledge the feeling that we're looking for 
So again, maybe you're looking for confidence, maybe you're looking for love, passion, self-love, whatever it is that you're looking for, you have to first acknowledge what that is. And we say, okay, I'm going to first say, what is it that I'm looking for? Okay, I'm looking to feel confident. Then I say, what do I want out of that confidence? What result do I want? I want to um, ha be have better biking. So feel stronger on the bike, faster on the bike, smoother on the bike, etc. And that comes from, you know, maybe the confidence that I'm, you know, trying to have. So then we look, go backwards and we say, okay, I want to, I want to be a better biker, which I know I need to feel more confident on the bike. So what habits or routines do I need to put into place in order to feel this way? Well, I need to execute my sessions. That's a habit. Um, I need to have a higher, you know, I need to work on my mindset. I need to say my mantras, you know, a whole bunch of things, right? I need to be able to reset when it's not going well, let go. Okay, these are some of the habits that you're trying to instill. And you can then create these lists of habits. And we say, okay, well, so these habits will help me to create this confidence. And then I want to add some actions in there too. So I say, what actions do I need to instill in order to feel you know, out of these um, like executing sessions or uh, to feel more confident. So what, what actions? Well, an action would be, you know, biking, you know, three days a week. Um, it would be uh, maybe you say, you know, not watching TV while I bike um, preparing ahead, you know, all, all sorts of, you can get into this whole list. And then we say, okay, that now has create, helped create me to be a better biker. So what you've done here is you've taken this little feedback loop of habits, feelings, actions, and performance, and you've helped create yourself an action plan that will then instill that feeling that you're looking for. And then it gives you the performance that you want. So based, the root of all of this is that one, you always have to first acknowledge the feeling that you're looking for. That's really important. Then the second piece is you have to back up from that and say, okay, what am I doing right now to help instill and to cultivate this feeling? And if those actions do not actually cultivate that feeling, I need to change them. So changing your mindset is more than just sitting there saying, I'm going to make a mindset shift. To make that mindset shift, you have to actually instill physical habits, physical actions to do so. And that's the power. That right there is where the magic starts to happen. You make those daily habits, those actions, those, those pieces, priority, you will feel more confident. You will feel happier. You will feel stronger. Whatever it is that feeling is, there are actions tied to it. And that's usually what I challenge my clients to do, to focus on the actions that are involved in surrounding the feeling that you're looking for. And by implementing those, you instantly provide yourself with the performance that you are potentially looking for. It all starts with small changes. Small changes make big changes. You cannot change your feelings immediately without first making small changes within your daily life to cultivate that. And that's the power of changing your mind. Small changes make big changes and it works with everything. So here's my challenge to you guys this week. This week, I challenge you to work through this. What feelings are you looking for? 
What feelings are you searching for? What performance are you searching for? And then what actions are tied to cultivating that feeling and then hoping to manifest it so that you can have the performance that you want? Let me know how it goes. I look forward to hearing from you guys. I know this has been a powerful exercise for me to use in the past to help create and instill the magical habits that are necessary in order to get the performance that you're looking for. Have a wonderful day, everybody.